In this lesson, we're going to solve exponential equations using natural logarithms. So the example says, use natural logarithms to solve the given equation for x. This first example is e to the x equals 5. So if you notice the x is in the exponent, we're going to take the natural log of both sides because the base number is e. So we're going to go natural log of e to the x, do the same thing on the other side, natural log of 5. Now since we've taken the natural log of both sides, we can move this exponent into the front. We know that natural log of e is equal to 1, and then obviously x times 1 is just x. So you get x equals the natural log of 5. And we're going to go ln of 5, and you get 1.609. So you can list your answer as either ln of 5 or the decimal value 1.609. This next example says negative 7 times e to the x equals negative 42. So like a regular equation, the first thing we're going to do to be able to solve for x is we want to get rid of anything extra on that side. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 7. Because your variable is in the exponent, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Okay, so we're going to use properties of exponents that says we can take this x and we can move it to the front. And again, ln of e is 1. So ln of 6 is equal to 1.792. You can list your answer as either natural log of 6 or the decimal form would be 1.792. This example says e to the 1 half x plus 8 equals 12. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 8 from both sides. Next, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. By properties of exponents, you can bring down the exponent to the front. ln of e is 1. To solve for x, we're going to times both sides by 2. Two, natural log of 4. So you get 2.773. This example says e to the 2x equals 13. We can move the power to the front. Ln of e is 1. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. So now we have x equals 1 half ln of 13. This example says 6e to the 4x equals 36. So the first thing we're going to do is divide both sides by 6. Now we'll take the natural log of both sides. At this point, you can bring the 4x out to the front. Just like the previous problems, you have ln of e equals 1. So now we have 4x equals natural log of 6. And we'll divide both sides by 4. And let's also get that decimal value. Our last example is e to the 3x minus 5 equals 100. So we'll just take the natural log of both sides. You're going to bring the entire power to the front. ln of e is 1. So at this point, we're just going to isolate the x. We're going to go ahead and add 5. And finally, we're going to divide both sides by 3. Make sure you don't add these together um, because it's natural log of 100, then plus 5. So just leave it like this. And then again, we're going to get a decimal for this.